Hi, my name is Ken Colby. I'm the author of Green Screen Wizard. Today I'd like to take the opportunity to demonstrate Green Screen Wizard Full, our entry-level product. We sell three standalone products, Green Screen Wizard Full, which I'm going to demo today, which is basic green screening, Green Screen Wizard Pro Studio, which has a built-in editor and a bunch of great special effects, and then finally we sell Pro batch with event and this product has the new full screen event mode so if you're at an event we have people standing in line and need to shoot very quickly you want to get the batch and event also if you're a school photographer and you take a hundred photos and you want to go home and process them all we have the batch side of batch and event so those are our three products but anyways back to green screen wizard full so it's very simple to operate. We actually have a lot of junior high kids using this product. So you load a foreground and you find it out of the whatever folders open. Okay. Then you can see it just instantly replaces all the green with the background. But this isn't a particularly good background. So we're going to choose a different one. And how about that? So you can see it's almost instantaneous um, in terms of replacing the background. Now what we want to do though is you can see she's sort of floating. So we're going to slide her down a little bit and over. And that looks pretty darn good. Um, but if you wanted to move the background, see we've got this little thing here. Maybe I want to get rid of that. We have other mouse scale options. So if you do the right mouse button, you can move the background. Okay. If you do, I'm sorry, the left mouse button moves. The right mouse button, if you move it up and down, will scale the background. So there you go. And that looks pretty darn good. All right. So now we want to print it out. We just click print. And there's a default print for every size. In this case, it's doing two. Um, okay. And then, uh, but you can select any kind of, so you could do one three by seven and four wall, let's say, or you could print one five by seven. Okay, so you have lots of printer choices. You can also create your own printer choices or printer templates. And then you just print to the printer, select your printer and print. Oops, I didn't mean properties. I meant to say print. Okay, so now that's going to go print to the printer. And what if we want to save it? Well, we can save it. And we, of course, can select any, any folder to save it in. And we'll click Save. And that's all there is to it. Image saved. So let's, let's work on a slightly... No, actually a much harder example. So this is the lady playing the harp. harp. This photo has a lot of problems with it. And we're going to load a nice background for her. And she kind of fits there, but I think I'd like to make her a little smaller. So we go back to mouse mode foreground. And I'm going to make her just a little smaller and move her into place. Okay. So you can see we have quite a few problems. We have this big black thing, or dark, I guess, which was, um, if you look at the original photo, that's actually the ceiling. And then we have this big crease and this big crease, which are putting uh, shadows into our, our uh, photo. So now we can take a look at our combined settings. So here we have a lot of settings that we can use, and but one of the most popular ones is to get rid of shadows. So we can try dark shadows. Oh, that didn't quite do it. Or very dark shadows. Well, that did clean it up. And it's probably okay, but there's a little chunk out of the uh, out of the base here, which we don't want. So we're going to go to our fine show detailed settings, and this is the two most popular sliders in the detail settings are the restored dark areas so you can see there and we're gonna just make it so it restores here so it got rid of all this but we still have this really nasty one left 
Um, and while I'm here, I'm just going to show you the second most important slider, and that's the green slider. So you can see her hair's turned a little pink. It's not really putting much green back in. We'll, we'll take another look at that later. But anyways, these are the two sliders used the most. Restore dark areas and determine how much green is uh, going to be done. So to get rid of this other thing, fortunately it's kind of all by itself. Otherwise we'd have to use the airbrush editor, which is part of the pro system. Uh, we go to a f uh, adjustments, clip. And we're going to clip to the left. You can see that's clipping everything to the left. And then we can clip the top. There you go. Perfect. Okay. So let's load another photo. Our beautiful bride. Okay, and she looks kind of okay there, but let's try a different background. Now, our other background was vertical, but this background's horizontal. And green screen wizard will scale it. It's, it shoves it over to the left. Uh, and that's, that's a fine if that's what you want. But we can also make it uh, green screen wizard allows you to check the, to select the output image sizes. And now normally if you're going to print an image, you want to go up to like 300. Um, but for demos, so things work quickly, um, we're going to stick with 200. And so there you go. So now you can see that I have to pull this in so you can see it. Sorry, give me a second. There we go. So that's the horizontal. And again, we can slide our image around. And I was trying to zoom in, that's why it's, it looks a little hosey. But anyways, you can see that we've, we've uh, slid her over to the side. But she's kind of facing the wrong way. So we're going to do um, another adjustment called rotate. And we're going to flip her horizontally. And so there's that photo. Load. We're going to go to home. We're going to load a different background in. We're going to load a sunset. Now the sunset um, worked fine, but... If, if it was really a true sunset, unless we were using a filling flash, this dress would no longer be pure white. So here's where we, we use the color adjustments. And they're mainly to, to uh, help us max, match the foreground to the background. So here I'm going to lower the amount of green a little bit, and blue a little bit. And now she fits into that background pretty well. Okay. So let's go back to a vertical format so I don't have to keep sliding things around here. And let's, let's load a different background. I'm going to get this to fit into the video. I probably should have just recorded the whole screen, I guess, but I was trying to give you as much detail as I could. Okay. I think that's on the video. Alright, and we'll load our new foreground. And there it is. Voila. Now you can see there's two problems. Actually, the green leaves have been distorted. See, the, if I don't do green screen process, you can see the green leaves have been distorted, and of course the blue is not removed. We do have a blue screen algorithm though, and by clicking that, suddenly uh, the green is perfect now, and the blue uh, is removed. But you can see there's just a little bit of staining here. And that's because the blue screen algorithm isn't always as powerful as the uh, green screen. So we're going to ask Green Screen Wizard just to take out a little bit more. There you go. 
So normally I recommend you always shoot on a blue screen or on green screen. The only time I would use a blue screen is if uh, there was uh, like a team where you had all green uniforms and you just didn't want to retouch everything. But in general, I would go with the green screen algorithm. Okay. Okay, let's take a second and take a look at some of the easy green screen wizard settings. So if we, for this we're going to load a different foreground to show off the difficulties with black hair. And we're going to load a different background. Okay, so you can see by default it did pretty well. But we can go to adjustments, combine, and we can go to black hair. Now you can see it starts pulling in all these little fine hairs. Now the best thing you can do is use the Green Screen Wizard Pro with the Airbrush Editor to really get it just right. Okay, and there's uh, something I want to bring up here. And that is, you need to have an evenly lit green screen behind the person that is pulled tight with no wrinkles. Because remember those shadows that we got rid of in the harp uh, photo? Well, we'd have a problem with this photo if we tried to do that. Because there's no difference between very dark shadows and um, black hair. So that's why black hair is so difficult. And... Uh, why by default we don't turn on black and we always say there's some shadows so the best if you're doing black hair is to have a very flat evenly lit green screen and um, you can come in here and select black okay so I remember we talked about uh, the issues with green in the hair well, I'm going to show you that uh, a little more dramatically with this photo. Of... There she is. And we're going to go back to the beach. And let's just make her a little bigger. Okay, so you see, actually Green Screen Wizard did by default a great job on her hair. And this is really a problem because what happens is, well, let's go to adjustments first. Combine. We pick redhead. Now you can see how it did an even better job on the hair. It kind of lightened up some of these um, red areas. But what I wanted to show you is the fact that if you add green back in, see how all of this, if all you did was replace the background green, this is what you get. Because this green color does not match the background green color. Because what happened was the hair distorted the color. If, if you've ever seen a person, a blonde particularly, standing at the beach with the sun behind her, you'll notice that her hair glows. And that's because hair is transparent and the sun is coming through. Well, the same thing. Green light bounced off the green screen is growing through here and making this uh, a green mess. So the real power power of uh, Green Screen Wizard is that its algorithm can actually deal with that and not only um, fix it so that this isn't removed but actually change it back to the proper color and that's a difficult trick and that's why professional green screen software is very difficult to write and why we don't have a lot of competitors. Anyways Try it for yourself. You'll see that the green screen wizard algorithm is one of the best. Okay, let's take an opportunity now to talk about sandwich overlays. So we go to effects, overlays, automatic load. And that's not what I want. I want the demo overlays. There we go. Okay. So we're going to pick the swimsuit modeling overlay. Now the reason we call it a sandwich overlay is that the person is sandwiched between a foreground and a background. So you can see she's behind the text. If we move her up here, she's on top of the modeling. Okay. So that's a sandwich overlay. And that's all you have to do to do one is just click automatic load. 
and uh, pick your overlay. So let's uh, let's do a more difficult one, and we'll load our beautiful uh, oops, didn't mean background, mean foreground, and we'll find our bride. Here we go. And now we're going to do an overlay for her. Adjustments, effects, automatic load, and we pick the purple background. They may not notice, but this background's kind of squished. Okay? And that's because it, if you looked at it when I picked it, um, it's basically a horizontal background. So we're going to ch change our output to horizontal. And unfortunately, that scales it to fit the screen, and so I gotta bring it in a little so you can see it. Okay, so here's our bride, and probably we'd like her over here. And she's a little big. There. So again, you can see that this really increases the green screen effect, the idea of a sandwich overlay, because it just increases all of green screen is an illusion you want to think that she's on the background and uh but you also <laughs> in order to, when you look at it you want to believe that she's on the background and it's illusion because she's not on the background um, but to increase that illusion we we add this idea of a sandwich overlay foreground we sell a lot of these overlays but you can also make them yourself in photoshop basically you have a background and then you have a foreground that uh, has a transparent area in it. And so you can see it's transparent between all these little flowers. I don't know what they're called. Um, There's a beautiful garden though, isn't it? So you can just create really lovely photos for people. That, okay. So let's go back for one last sandwich overlay demo. And a little foreground. Beautiful Ruby. And we're going to go back to vertical. And unfortunately, for this video, I got to fit Ruby back in here. Give me a second. Okay, well, that's good enough for a demo. Okay, so now um, we're going to load another sandwich overlay. We don't have to change the background because the overlay has its own background. We're going to do the Christmas overlay. And you can select the foreground or the background, it doesn't matter. The idea of automatic load is it'll, it'll find an FG, a foreground file, and a background file that match. So we want to make Ruby just a little smaller for this. There you go. Okay, so now she's in a beautiful Christmas setting. But the reason I pulled this up is we haven't really talked about labels. But you can add labels, like Mary. And you can change the size and some of the other things. Uh, and you can also add a note at the bottom. And there's uh, uh, nine positions, top top left, top center. We're going to go bottom right. So we'll say the cold beads. Let's say from the cold. Okay, and if that you can't really read that, you can also change the no color back to white. And there you go. It's your choice. Now in Green Screen Wizard Pro, you have unlimited text and you can actually move it around with the mouse. But in the full version, you just have these labels. So that really concludes what I wanted to say about the full version. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's a great program. We still sell a lot of it. Um, but if you're serious about green screening, you can try this and you can always use your serial number to upgrade to the Pro version later. So thank you so much for your time, and I hope you enjoy Green Screen Wizard.